Hey guys, it's Elena and welcome to Cloth Collective 2022. Today's topic is addressing the challenges of cloth diapering and the two things that I wanted to mention in today's video are the time that it takes to cloth diaper, which is definitely more than just disposable diapering your kiddo, and also the upfront cost the budgeting issues right at the beginning with cloth diapering as well when you're trying to build up your stash. So let's hop in and talk about some of the things that are, that are not exactly the funnest part of cloth diapering. So the time it takes to wash diapers, fold laundry, and just take care of the whole diaper stash situation is definitely going to be more than if you were just disposable diapering your kiddo. I estimate that I probably spend about two hours every week um, getting the, lo the laundry loaded up, folding the laundry, keeping an eye on the laundry, you know, for when it needs to be switched out and whatnot. I think it's about two hours a week that I am spending taking care of all of those things. I have been a working mom as a cloth diapering mom, and I've been a stay at home mom as a cloth diapering mom. So I have seen it all and it can get a little hectic if you are a working mom in the evenings when you're coming home from work, you only have a couple hours before dinner and bedtime and you know, wash, you know, like bath routine and all that kind of stuff. I know it can be really hectic. And if you have a small diaper stash and you forget to throw it in the dryer the night before, that can be a really big issue. You have, if you have nothing to send with kiddo to daycare or babysitter or whatever in the morning, that can be really, really stressful. I know what it's like to have a smaller stash of waiting on stuff to dry, really thick inserts that take, you know, over an hour in the dryer. I know it can be really frustrating and definitely nerve wracking trying to stay on top of everything when you have so many other things to be responsible for in your household. So I absolutely understand why people would not want a cloth diaper just because of that extra time. If you just don't have a couple hours a week to spend on diaper laundry every couple of days, I totally understand why cloth diapering would not even be on your radar. Now the upfront cost can also be an issue. If you are on a really tight budget, spending a couple hundred bucks at the very beginning of your cloth diapering journey can feel ridiculous. When you can go to the store and buy a box of diapers for like 20 bucks, you can't even imagine trying to spend $20 on one or two affordable cloth diapers. Why buy one or two cloth diapers when I can just buy another box of disposables, right? I know that that one is a hard one. In the long run, buying cloth diapers, investing in, in the cloth diapers initially will most likely save you money in the long run, especially if we're gonna have one or more, if you're gonna have more than one kiddo wearing those same diapers, but I know that it's a lot right at the beginning. I do have videos that I will leave linked down below to um, uh, talking about budget diaper options and stuff like that. And there are ways to cloth diaper your kiddo for like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. You could totally get away with that. But if you're wanting to like kind of have a bigger stash where you don't feel like you're constantly running low on diapers, you're probably gonna be more in like the three to $400 range. And that is a lot of money to spend right up front. Like, especially if you're pregnant and you're buying, you know, like baby furniture, baby clothes, trying to get bottles and like all that kind of stuff. That's just one more big expense you have to think of. Whereas when you're disposable diapering, you only have to think about it one box of diapers at a time, you know? So I understand it's, those are some big numbers couple hundred bucks, several hundred bucks for a cloth diaper stash right at the beginning. It does sound really daunting, but you can always kind of do it just a little bit at a time. You don't have to feel like you have to buy dozens of diapers all at once. You can buy, you know, a couple this week, a couple next week, you know, during your pregnancy, you can kind of build up every month. You can maybe buy a diaper or something throughout your pregnancy. There are ways to try and fit diapers into your budget over the long term, but yeah, I know. Like right up front, it's a lot to think about spending several hundred dollars to diaper your baby. Now those are the two big ones that I think most people are thinking of when they are considering cloth diapering versus disposable diapering their kiddos. Those are the like biggest issues and issues that you have to kinda really come to terms with before you decide to dive right in. There are other smaller issues as well, you know, like not wanting to deal with the poo situation. Yeah, dealing with poo is not fun. <laughs> I will admit that spraying out the poo out of a cloth diaper into the toilet is like my least favorite thing about cloth diapering, honestly. Um, it is gross, it's not fun, but they do have 
cloth diaper sprayers that you can get for like 30, 40 bucks. I know, that can, that sounds like a big expense too. It took up me and my husband, um, I think we, we, might have, we might have waited a few weeks to buy a cloth diaper sprayer when we first started cloth diapering, but uh, it's definitely worth it, definitely worth it to be able to spray the poo into the toilet. I know it sounds like a big upfront cost as well, <laughs> right there at the beginning, but being able to just like, hook this hose up to your toilet and spray the poo into the toilet makes the poo situation much less scary if you ask me. So yeah, those are the three things that I kind of think most people are considering and thinking about when they are considering diving into cloth diapers. So yeah, even though I absolutely love cloth diapers, I love talking about cloth diapers, I love seeing my kiddos in cloth diapers, and I think that cloth diapers can be beneficial to a lot of families for a lot of different reasons. I don't think that everybody needs to cloth diaper, and I don't think that cloth diapering would be like the magical solution to some people's problems, you know? So I love cloth diapers, I love talking about cloth diapers, I do want to try to be helpful for you guys, so I will leave links down below to like budget cloth diaper videos I have done in the past. I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful for you guys if you did like this video or if you have any kind of suggestions or other uh, challenges or negative things you can think about cloth diapers definitely leave them down below this should be a video and the comment section should be a helpful part of this video talking about what is not the best part of cloth diapers let's be honest here and let's talk about the downsides as well so let me know your downsides down below um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow along. Subscribe to my channel for the other Cloth Collective videos of the week. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>